So as a trombone player with this piece, it is quite unusual um, because it's based on the star constellations and the, the, the title Sternklang means the sound of the stars. And the way that Stockhausen has gone about that is with some very, very, very simple melodically. We either have from one constellation one pitch, choose from or two pitches. But then he wants us to articulate through the music the actual name of the constellation. So, for example, the constellation Ophiuchus, which I'm not, I'm not a big stargazer, so I'm not familiar where, with, with what it looks like or where it is in the sky, but uh, I'm asked as, a, as an instrumentalist to reproduce the sound of those syllables, Ophiuchus, um, uh, especially the vowel sounds. And that's quite complicated. The trombone has its sound, and you, we can humour the sound a little bit uh, by changing the shape inside my mouth. Um, but uh, what I've ended up doing is using harmony meat for almost the entire piece, harmony meat the, in the end of the trombone, which I then manipulate the sound of that with my hand. In fact, with the fingers, um, when it's completely closed, I've got four fingers covering the mute. It's all the way open, so that's zero fingers. But in the, lower, in the lowest pitches, in, of the lowest register of the trombone, um, even in between one finger and another, sometimes I get an extra couple of notes. And this is the overtone series above the above the actual pitch that I'm playing. It's all, all the sounds that you don't normally hear that go towards making it a trombone sound rather than say an oboe sound or a cello sound. Um, it's the, the overtone series that you don't hear. You can actually hear it a bit on, um, with um, me manipulating the, the fingers on the end of the mute. Uh, and in, in the, lowest, the lowest pitches that I play, I can get seven or eight different pitches with four fingers. And so I'm, I'm, I'm using that mute throughout through almost the whole piece. And Stockhausen's idea is that if you have a very um, open vowel sound, an or oh, that kind of sound, then, then, then that's a low note in the, in the overtone series or a very closed high vowel sound like an E is, is, is right at the opposite end of the spectrum and, and one of the highest uh, notes in, in, the, in the harmonic series there. So I'm trying to constantly trying to produce these overtones to, to match the vowel sounds that go with the, the name of the constellation uh, all the way throughout the two and a half to three hour duration of the piece. I'm doing that almost the whole time and occasionally trying to produce some of the consonant sounds as well. So there's one called Draco, the dragon, and, and at, the end, at the end of each repetition of, of, of that musical model, which only lasts 10, 15 seconds, I have to, to produce this Draco effect and so that's with my hand but also um, a little bit with my tongue and uh, lips as well which is quite complex when playing an instrument but it's also quite fun to give it a go.